Alrighty, good morning team. Mission on for today is to go out and shoot deer with a mate on what I would see is to be my last hunt for 2018. It's December the 28th and I'm heading into the Ruahine Ranges with uh, Nick Blinger Kirk. None of the other brothers were available, they're all off uh, doing Christmas stuff. Big focus for today will be obviously the nab a deer or two, but Nick has got a brand new long range rifle, a Ticker T3 300 Win Mag that he would like to christen. So that would be the focus of the mission, is to get him up there and um, see if we can't tip a deer over. She's an overnight mission. On my previous video, I showed you guys what I run in my um, pack for a day mission so this time I thought it might be useful to show you just what I add into my pack for a overnighter or maybe even a longer longer mission so have a look at this righty let's start with the apparel first we have got hunter's element puffy jacket we have got hunter's element extreme uh, rain jacket you just never know um, we have got the layers underneath that will be a Under Armour uh, Storm Fleece hoodie, Brothers Booby one, beanie, base layer shirt here, um, leggings. If it gets a bit cold up there, I'll put those leggings on. These are walking base layer twos, kind of like the Leotardi leggings. That'll go on my skin. This is another Under Armour dry fit shirt. I've got dry fit gloves there. Oh, no, sorry, stinky old safety gloves. A pair of Catman do thermal gloves. We're walking in with, say, Under Armour shorts, undershorts, or whatever. And my Canterbury shorts, um, only reason those aren't Under Armour because Under Armour don't make a tough enough short. On my feet will be my lower Tibet GDXs, over the top of that will be my um, Mark Hall Gators. And I'll be walking in up the river with my wet boots, which are just stinky old X safety boots. Moving to my camera gear, Manfrotto tripod, which I've hybridised by putting a lighter set of uh, legs on it. Got my lower pro camera bag. We have got a couple of power pack, smack power packs, power pack for this camera here, which is the Session 5, and that untrustworthy audio GoPro Black 5. You yeah, damn you. A tripod for that. Uh, glasses. Moving over to my chest rig, Alaska Guides chest rig. Had to buy from America. That's all cool. My Harvey Leopold um, Binos 10x42s, I think. Um, like a rangefinder 1000 uh, Kestrel 3000 I've got my iPhone with the app on it all dialed up ready to shoot something um, straight up to the rifle my rifle most of you guys if you follow me will know this cannon this is my Tika T3 sitting in a KRG stock with a gunworks bipod of the death up there with the spikes on it uh, that is a Leopold Mark IV 6.5 to 20 TMR reticle scope. Gunworks Maximus Suppressor. I have Accuracy International mag here. I run seven rounds in there, seven spare rounds. My Naltec rear bag um, and my Naltec gun cover, which I put on top of my rifle, over my rifle, when I'm uh, packing in and it gets clipped in my pack. So none of my, my rifle doesn't get damaged. Righty. My lighting systems are my lead lenses bomb proof lead lenses ml6 h8r uh, my knives haven't seen this i have got a what is it a gerber on the right a mercator on the left uh, two diamond steels in there plus a flint at the back we have got a huntek meat bag spare rubbish bags for rubbish and meat i've got my silky zubat arbor saw it's actually from my tree climbing kit we will be doing a review on this which is the Hydro Pack uh, 8 litre reservoir with a special nozzle attachment. Um, basically, it's for hauling uh, a lot of water 
and storing a lot of water at camp. So I'm going to try and take six litres because we're going to be back up on the tops in one of those spots I normally hunt at. Not much water up, actually no water up there. So I'm going to do a bit of a review on that, see how that works out. Moving back to the top again, we have got my ACR PLB. We have got toothpaste and toothbrush. First aid kit with a whole raft of stuff in there. Uh, Garmin 650 GPS. The GME walkie talkie, the two of them uh, work together. Got uh, for my cooking, my prepping my food, my jet boil. Down to here, Hunt Smart New Go Go Juice for Hunters. Uh, a vessel to mix that in and drink from. We have got usually bars in here, instant coffee with a few sugar sachets, uh, backcountry cottage pie, carrot cake and custard, a couple of packs of noodles, um, non-stick frying pan. If you guys don't have these, these are mean. Wipe them out with a bit of uh, fern, clean them out pretty easy, cook them off again. Uh, Cedar Summit cup, knives and forks, a um, little bit of a treat. We have got shave streaky bacon and some wraps. The most important paper on the hill is the TP, the toilet paper, and a series of Tatonka pack liners. Righty, so the key difference other than the food is going to be my uh, tenting and sleeping arrangement. So this is what I'll be taking up for this overnighter. This is an army hoochie fly. Uh, most army guys will know that you've got to have strings. Strings are more versatile rather than rubber bands or anything else. I will be sleeping in my Kathmandu. 700 loft power sleeping bag seeker uh, inside that will be my sleeping bag liner uh, these are awesome for um, if you get a bit sweaty on your walk-ins and you don't want to stick to your sleeping bag those liners right there are absolutely me I'll be sleeping on a Cedar Summit ultralight um, blow-up mattress um, over the top of the sleeping bag will be my looks like an army bivy bag and it is uh, Gore-Tex bivy bag all going to go into my Bison 9010 Tatonka pack. So that's the gear I carry. Not really much of a difference to my uh, day hunt other than uh, there's the 55 sitting over there. That's the 90. So I could probably, it's going to be two or three more days, it's only going to be food would be the, the difference. That's the only thing I would change on that. But um, the pack can handle it. And uh, so hope you got something out of that. Let's get back on with the mission. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Now, time for the business. Get on the road and uh, get to Spot X, get the pack on, get the feet wet, and get some sweat going. So. Well, team, running a little bit late this morning because one of us, that would be not Nick, uh, forgot his charging GoPro <laughs> in Man Cave, halfway to BP, so. No BP price, so uh, you stopped at the Celtic, eh? Yep, sure it is. So the old mate's got the Barista Bros and a midgy full steak and cheese pie. What do you got, bud? Yep, same. Alright. Steak yeah. and cheese. Look at the old bro, let's just do a bit of a walk around the old bro here. Looking sharp. Looking sharp with his brand new cannon on there. Ooh, what the hell's that? Alaska <laughs> Guides, uh, what uh, model's that, bro? It's just a cup. Cup. That's the same as mine. Be able to cope with the down and now. Wish I could float the waters up to my throat, but the cost of my friends, they're drowning now. Last time we spoke, I said I needed you most. I just need someone to be around. My soul starts to quiver I think of the last time you spoke to me You said everything has a meaning Oh, oh everything happens for a reason But when someone's alone The words are their strong And I just... Unfortunately, team It is, uh... We've come up here To introduce Nick to Mr. Klegimoto It is thick as soup up here Look at that Anyway, luckily we just take now. Well, what can we say? Things haven't improved. <laughs> They're absolute shite. 
there's a slight breeze there a left to right one coming up that way it's, it's just not doing enough so plan is strip down put some warm gear on uh, probably spark up the jet boil and have a cup of tea while we wait for the clag to clear Righty, as promised, I am going to do a review on this Hydropack um, water reservoir system for a camp. So, as I said before, this is an 8 litre Hydropack. Um, it um, got nice little handles on it. You could probably hang it from a tree like this just to get the water to come out with a bina slot in there. Uh, nice carry handle like that. Pretty sturdy, really. And you've got this little detachable nozzle which goes in the top of there like that i think owen called it the the hudaki or something like that fits in there like this i'll probably turn it around like that and then obviously you could hang it up so you don't have to hold it like this and get a mean workout on your deltoids I'll uh, put enough water in there for a couple of brews. That's it. All topped up. Uh, this cool little thing here just goes hooks on the back here like this. It's just probably something I've always wanted because I've always brought uh, camelback bladders up. And what I found is, you know, the hoses that came out, they get contaminated and it's really hard to clean those hoses. I mean, they're good for hydrating when you come in, but this here is easier to clean to get in there and clean that all out um, it's just handy heavy yeah I mean heavy because it is eight liters I only bought up six because six is about what we need for an overnight stay up here so um, if you think this is a bit of you uh, you can pick them up at your local hunting and fishing I think this is going to be mean for my overnight as all longer stay so and plus you know um, we'll go down to the, the creek do recovery we can fill up water containers down there we'll take this down there and fill it up and have it back for camp um, camp water supplies so if that's something that you might be into yeah go down H&F and pick one up what's it called again bro? Hydra Pack bro Hydra Pack 8 litre me we have adopted the position of being under our Hoochie You've seen us in this position a few times. <laughs> but uh, yeah, rain starting to come in, flagged into the max. It's just going to be a waiting game now for me and all, bro. Half past 10, no movement, team whatsoever. It should clear up. Got all the um, uh, all the positives on it. He's pumping wind on the other valley, and there's wind coming through here. The visibility has improved, but not good enough to get a set of binos up. That's the update. Plaguey Moto update. It's getting a little bit better. Well, half an hour later, look at this. Mr. Claggy Moto is gone. Time to get serious and spot some bloody deer. Well, what seemed like a bloody eternity waiting for that clad to clear, we finally got our binos up and Nick the old sniper spotted this young stag sitting way up on this vertical face at 780 meters. Problem being, the wind up there was absolutely howling and the young stag, trying to avoid rubbing up his antlers on any hard vegetation, was browsing and feeding through rather quickly. So we opted just to watch him and try and find a target that was a little bit more handy and easier to bloody recover. Well bugger me, while I was mucking around on Instagram, good old Nick, he spotted us another deer, a young red spiker sitting out at 380 meters. This one was definitely handy for us, so we decided to double team with Nick having the honors leading the count. Now the wind on this shot was gusting anywhere from 10 to 18, maybe even 20. So our wind holes were going to be crucial. As Nick was shooting 
a lighter pill at a higher velocity and I was shooting it slightly slower speed and a heavier bullet it was a little bit hard for me to try and guesstimate the wind for him so he decided to hold forward on the shoulder and I was going to hold somewhere slightly inside that As you can see these two shots go to target, Nick hits his quite far back and mine hits it in the midsection. The deer gets absolutely poleaxed but how much meat have we damaged? Main, 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 main. Deer down. That is bacon for success. So, the plan is to uh, have a bite to eat, uh, go stash some gear, then make our way down the 300 track. I will video our pathway just to show you where we're heading. Kind of in the same place we did the 9 hour recovery but we learned a lot since then so stand by. So the plan is, I'll take you through the plan. The deer is, that prominent tree is probably about 20 meters to the left and down. Our plan is, the last time Owen and I came up here, we went down that ridge, dropped into the, oh, just cliffs and bluffs down there, and spent nine hours trying to get two deer out of there, and then kind of bluffs, 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 bluff, and then up the 300 track. So our plan is to go off that ridge, down there, cross over, go up that sort of uh, tussocky ridge there, cut left, sidle across to that tree, and hopefully that deer's right there. The time is quarter to two, so we better get a hurry on, <coughs> hunt smart up, uh, um, headlamps, knives, cameras of course, and we're ready to rock. So we will see you on the Tools from the old pioneers, have a look at this. Those are sensor. Old school. That's, what's replaced there? <laughs> Over there, you can just see the tippy top is where that deer is just below. So, getting our grind on, team. Oh, what? Oh, what? Result. Result. Ooh. Shall we have a quick look, team? Da, 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 da. He was uh, up there yonder when we smacked her. And, uh, we've got to be careful that we don't uh, lose her down there because. Uh, that face is where me and Owen did our nine hour recovery off. And I know what's out there. It's not a whole lot of happiness. But there's a whole lot of Ongonga down there. Anyway, I think we will pull her up here, get her cleaned out. Ended up being a young spiker. Well, yearling spiker, I would say. That's that deer, all boned out in both our packs. Yeah, a bit heavier than coming up. Definitely, but um, yeah, young spiker, not too bad at the end of the day, thought it was a hind, didn't see those little nubbies on there, so uh, we're still in the kind of the stag club I suppose, but uh, we've got a um, fair hike to get back up, and I'm going to say this again, but have a look, straight across, right up there, where we shot from those group of trees there, we're going to go Walk up that ridge, there, back across the top, back home, and set up camp, and have a dirty old big feet. Hey bro? Yeah. Sounds good. Check this out. What? Got to go down there. Climb back up there. <laughs> Oh, 
We are out. My bro's just coming now. Whew. Another deer recovered. Mean bolt. Hearty, hearty recovery, bro. Hearty. Time is now on 25 past six. Now we'll get back to camp. Get up here and maybe straight some eyeballs. We'll go over there for another deer, maybe. Righty, we have got cottage pie tonight. Your backcountry cottage pie with the potatoes in it. What do you got, Nick? That's a backcountry too, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Beef bo bo beef boy some shit. Beef boy yo yo. Beef boy yo yo. Yeah. So that looks pretty mean too. Have a bit of a nibble on that one. Yeah. What's that over there? That's That's the big dog. The big dog. Yeah, yeah. okay. Later. That's the big slow dog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's a couple of back countries and then probably a cup of tea. A bit of muesli pie and a biscuit. Tito beating it. Reflect on the day. What a cool little lantern, man. Little lead lens ML6. Flip it over like I've got a little hooky thing on the back. Look it up there like that. What do you mean, really? Like a mighty team. Uh, she's day two. A far better start to day two than day one. <laughs> Crystal clear, but man, that wind is absolutely. I'm oh, just going to try and protect that. Absolutely pumping. And coming from the opposite direction. Um, had a pretty good night's sleep. Some of us is uh, still waking up. Get some eyes on the on the faces uh, for a couple of hours, and then have a bite to eat. Hopefully, within there we would have shot something. Maybe. Back country, carrot cake and custard for breakfast. <laughs> Get right in those corners. Ten minutes. Okay, I think we've both had enough. We've both had enough. It's just absolutely blowing its guts out up here. Um, I'm just speaking to you in a low. Can't believe it's not blowing. So we're just gonna pack up our gear and mosey on back down the track. So catch you on our way out. Guess where we are? Back down in the river. We are back off the hill, oh, a lot quicker than we went in. Um, couple of firsts for this trip. First for Nick up the Ruhinis with me. Yeah. What else were the first? First, uh, first deal with the new rifle. Yep. First time wearing two pairs of boots on a trip. Uh, Alaskan God Creations chest rig. That's pretty mean, eh? Yeah. Another Ruhini mission uh, notched up. Good to take my bro out, Nick, and uh, get a few of those. Um, Mark has ticked off him, so uh, cheers for that brother. No worries, thank you. And uh, wrapping it up, um, hope you guys enjoyed that mission. Like and subscribe, we'll see you on the next one. See you.